Hey, this is Austin with Counterculture Farms. Today we're going into our bulletproof sheep flock here in East Texas. We got a composite breed. We're in lambing season. Lots of fun stuff going on. Let's get into it. We just moved the sheep into this paddock five minutes ago or less, and this one already dropped and is up walking around. This is what I mean by bulletproof sheep, people, all right? We got goats. Uh, let me tell you what, the goats do not jump up off the ground like this. You'd think that baby been out for an hour. Look at it. Five minutes or less. Just put the sheep in here. Didn't even see it drop. Here we go. So this breed right here, this is a Dorper Katahdin cross with a splash of Florida native put into it. If you ever heard of the Hopping Brothers, that's what this flock is out of. We bought from them a few years back whenever they sold out their entire sheep flock. They were getting a little bit older and just uh, didn't want to deal with the sheep headache anymore. Completely understandable because they can be a headache, but we've continued on the breeding here, basically going for bulletproof sheep. That's why I like to call them. So parasite resistance is one of the main things that we're going for here in East Texas. It's wet, subtropical, damn near swampy. I mean, we are uh, over here about an hour from Shreveport. I mean, we're we're right where it starts turning into a uh, wet, wet area. This is all bottomland right in here that we're grazing on. We got ryegrass coming in good, a little bit of dock here. And most of these ladies are starting to drop that winter coat pretty good. This lady here is holding on to it pretty well, but it ain't hot yet. It's just started warming up. So, so what we're selecting for specifically babies that get up quick right you just saw that a second ago less than five minutes out already over there suckling on the mama got him cleaned up quick ready to go i mean it's it's really crazy the mama's got to be quick cleaning the baby's got to the baby's really got to be getting up and going because we're moving every day or every few days and then on top of that we don't need a weak one. We want something that wants to live, right? So if it comes out weak, floppy, sitting around, not wanting to get up, what's it going to do in nature? Something's going to eat it. It's not going to live. It's not going to make it. And out here, we're not giving any of those inputs. We don't do any grain. We don't do any dewormers. This whole flock has not had dewormer in a few years since we bought them. They hadn't had a lick, okay? Nada. Now, that first little bit we lost off the top probably 20 plus percent, maybe 30. They had started feeding them soybean holes in the winter. We don't do any of that crap. They gotta make it on grass alone. A little bit of hay if they need it, but that's if I just did a terrible job stockpiling that year. They started feeding a little bit of soybean holes in the winter so when we brought them over they needed that extra energy source and they did not get it let me tell you it was hard the ones we lost were the ones that were uh, mamas with big triplets in them big you know 200 pound looking mamas they're probably 150 with triplets in them and they just did not make it so they dropped off quick looking back i probably should have done things a little bit different to help them survive but i mean it was one day they're up and the next day they're down um, so after we culled off that weekend, we really stopped losing. We just started moving frequently, and all these sheep just adapted so well. Um, we have been eating, culling hard the back end. Nature's been culling most of it, and we've been eating the rest. Uh, but like last year, okay, just so you're like, oh, you're not deworming at all. What's that mean, really? Last year. We didn't deworm at all, not a lick. We got done lambing. Guess what we lost to parasites? I believe at the very end it was like two lambs and maybe an old ewe. In probably the first like, I don't know, 90 days, we lost one. That's it. And then once the lambs got a little bit older, we lost one more again. It's very, very simple, folks. You get the right genetics. So we're working off of what the Hopping Bros were doing, which they were raising their own lambs, their own rams, out of the group every single year. They would breed that buck back, sorry, the ram, back to the flock, 
and then they would get rid of that one. They'd eat it, and they'd take the ram crop again the next year, and they'd breed that ram back. They'd do it again and again and again. So you're always taking the strongest from your group. Why? In utero, raised on your land, fully and completely, is going to be the best, most bulletproof animal you got for your zip code. Why is that? If it's raised on your land and it thrives on your land, the best thing it's going to be able to do, the best place for it to be, is going to be on your land. It's very, very simple. That's what nature does, and nature seems to be doing a damn good job at surviving. And humans seem to be doing a damn good job of making animals really, really weak. That's not what we do here, though. So like I said, bulletproof. No dewormer. No grain. They're out here thriving. This grass out here is coming in good. Past couple years, it has been... Uh, a little bit rough this is one of the worst pastures out here they had cows in it the previous owner did 24 7 and I mean we you can see all the hay we've fed we've unrolled a ton out here the cows have been in it's probably been uh, probably 30 to 40 days since the cow herd's been in here and probably 60 ish days since the sheep have run through and normally we just run them through and let them eat a little bit off the top and move on. But this is the best the grass has been coming in since uh, since in the fall when we ate the stockpile. But hey, I just wanted to share with y'all what we're doing out here. It is very, very different. This is counterculture, and we like to do things different. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Peace.